Hello, today I'm going to demonstrate in front of you the new freelancer functionality in Token. First of all, I would like to inform you that with the help of the new freelancer feature, the agents can see the unassigned tasks and they can assign those tasks to themselves. This feature is also helpful in the peak hours of the business so that you can hire some part-time workers and they can work for you during the need. First of all, I would like to show you the new freelancer tab present in the token settings. So now, as you can see, we have various settings present for our freelancer agents. First of all, I would like to inform you that these settings are team dependent. That is, you can have different settings for freelancers in different teams. Now, one of the most important thing here are tags. In this field, you can enter the tags for your freelancers. Here, I entered the tag Prime. And remember, these tags should be given to the freelancer while adding him. Then comes up the GeoFen settings, wherein you can select the geolocation of the freelancer. Herein, I selected High Demand. In the maximum allotted tasks, you can enter how many tasks a freelancer can take at the same time. Now comes up the new subscription, the agent subscription thing. If you enable this field, you will be able to create subscription plans for your agents. And remember, these subscription plans can be uh, added to the freelancer agent as well as to the normal agent. I am creating a new plan here named Goal. Mm. Let's say maximum number of tasks are 1000. Description. Validity, I'm entering here one month and uh, you can also uh, have multiple types of validity periods over here. Uh, it can be one month, three months, six months. You can also enter custom dates, custom days and unlimited. I'm entering one month over here. Now I'm clicking on create. Now we have successfully added a gold subscription plan. Now I'm going to show you that how can we add a freelancer agent to token. For that you need to go to token side menu. Then click on agent. Now from here you need to click on add agent then fill in all the details Now I need to uh, give this uh, freelancer tags, herein I am giving the tag prime. Now I need to assign him to the team, I will assign him to the prime team. Now herein comes the most important part, the agent type. As you want this agent to be a freelancer, you need to select freelancer from this drop down list. Now you need to assign some role to the freelancer, herein I am selecting the role prime. Now, coming towards the subscription thing, if you want your freelancer to have some subscription, you can enable this checkbox and select the subscription plan present. For example, if I select gold plan, then I'll be able to see the plan details that maximum number of tasks allowed under this plan are 1000 and this plan will be valid for one month. One more thing I need to tell you over here is that even if the freelancer toggle for this particular team is not switched on but still you can use the subscription if you have added now I'll add this agent and you can see that the agent is successfully added
coming towards the freelancer tab again as we um, gave the tag prime to the agent the tag should reflect here as well in the freelancer team in the prime driver team settings and if i want to uh, assign my agent the subscription plan gold that uh, i can do from here by clicking on edit then from the select agent list i can select the agents to whom i want to assign this and then i need to click on update so now uh, the subscription plan has been successfully um, assigned now coming towards the token dashboard here as you can see that there is one unassigned task. Now I will show you that how the freelancer would be able to see this unassigned task in the app. Now coming towards the app, if the freelancer clicks on the side menu, then select available tasks. He would be able to see the tasks available and he has the option of accepting that task or declining that task. If the freelancer clicks accept, the task would be accepted by him and it will show on the dashboard like this. Now he can start the task, mark it as successful, all clear, thank you.